Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Outdoorsman 1 video. Today, we're going to be talking about the RCI Off-Road Metalworks bed rack. Stay tuned. So guys, if you are like me and you've got an F-150 uh, that's not a Raptor, having Overland equipment for it is kind of an interesting um, kind of paradox to be in because you've got a bunch of stuff where it's like if you want to jack your truck up that's like 8 inches or and then put like 37 inch tires on it, you can do that or you can do um, more of the low profile, you know, slamming it because those are the kind of usual things people do with F-150s or make it a work truck. But then if you're looking to do something like this where I'm turning this into kind of a Raptor, um, I've already done the, the air enhancements, the chips that take the governor out of it. Um, and I've bumped the horsepower quite a bit actually. Um, but if you're looking to overland, it's a very small market of things that you can buy for your F-150. So, uh, if you're new to my channel, what I've got here is a 2012 F-150 XLT Super Cab. So that means that the doors are the backward folding door, but you've got six seats inside. You've got the jump seat in the middle, which uh, I'm kind of indifferent on. But um, you've got a six-seater cab, five-liter V8, uh, the, the Coyote engine in it, and then I've got a six-and-a-half-foot bed. Now, that's where things start to get kind of interesting. So this is a work truck model. Uh, base, but I've done a lot of work to it and plus the guy that I bought this from had done a, a little bit of work to it as well It's got a couple things in it that aren't really necessarily stock, but I've already talked about those a bunch So I'm not gonna repeat myself go watch another video on my truck if that's the information that you're looking to get But what we're gonna be talking about today is the RCI bed rack now. I'm gonna kind of just walk around it real quick here So I've had it for about eight months now, maybe six, seven, eight months. Um, I believe I bought it in November and now we're in July. So quite a bit of time. Uh, happy pioneer day to all of you guys in Utah as well. I'm excited for the fireworks tonight, but, uh, what we've got on this side is we've got the repro, um, max tracks. These are the, uh, the, just the knockoff ones that you can buy on Amazon. I really like the OD color scheme on there because hopefully one day my truck will be painted that color. But um, for right now, we're just going to do that. I think the orange ones just stand out a lot and a lot of people just kind of like stare at them. Um, but hey, to each their own. What I've got going on here is I've got my own setup um, as far as this goes. I'm not going to talk about those today for the mounting just because I'm going to be changing it and solidifying it so that it's kind of multi, multi-purpose. Um, so that's that. You can see we've got about six inches, six to eight inches right here between the, the cab and the bed rack. Um, and I'll get into that in a minute as well. You've got three main struts, one, two, and three. Uh, this, I believe, is the 58-inch rack. Um, I will put all of the information in the description below. And then you've got this really interesting contoured line. As you can see, it kind of angles up, angles, and then goes uh, horizontal. Then here on the back, I've done my own custom mount for it, but I've got my high lift uh, jack there. And we'll also talk about that in a minute. And then on the driver's side here, I've got, uh, this is actually brand new. I put this on here yesterday. Um, this is going to be where I mount my, uh, eventually this is going to be where I mount my, my three pound propane tank. Um, that's going to go here, but I bought this thinking that it would fit the propane tank and it actually doesn't. So 
this is the quick fist um, I believe it's the two and a half to nine inch um, cinch down strap but what I'm going to end up using this for is a fire extinguisher um, and I'll get into that in a minute got a GoPro mount right here and then I've also got the the quick fist um, mounts for my trusty axe and then here you can see RCI's logo so that's kind of the walk around of how I have the rack set up I'll put that on when I'm not recording um, and then as well I've got wires coming out of the side of the bed right here I've got two different plugs and I'll also get into that in its own due time but then the main showstopper on the top is the Smitty built uh, Overland tent. This is the two person, it's not the XL, this is just the usual one. Um, getting into a little bit more information, you've got a little bit more than a foot between the, end, the bed of the rack, or my bad, the back of the rack and the bed. So if you're looking at it from the side, you've got about six inches, depending on where you're measuring the bed to the back of the cab then you've also got some space up here and here we go we're gonna get into the specifics okay guys so first off what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about the spacing and the way that it's set up in the bed um, but before I get started on that we're gonna talk about the mounting setup here um, I purchased the extra C clamps you can see here they I think they were an extra 50 bucks for all six but the way that they they give you to mount it is right in there you can see that hole that's on this L bracket um, you can see that hole right there they give you screws to be able to mount that straight into your bed um, I'm not a huge proponent in permanently mounting things to your truck in a fashion that will permanently leave marks uh, just because if I decide to sell this for some reason it depreciates it or you know go to whatever reason that you have. So I'm not too big on that, and the fact that I have helped people move several times, and I need to put a bed in the back, or put a, uh, a couch or something in the bed of my truck, um, I can't do that with this. So I'm like, hey, if you're willing to help me take my bed rack off, I'll help you move. And it's really simple. You just take these six things off. There's a little bolt on the bottom. You just undo it. And then this bed rack literally just slides straight off the back. The tent weighs about 115 pounds. And then the rack itself weighs, weighs about 80 pounds. So that being said, and then obviously I would take this off to, to make it lighter so it's easier. But with two people, you know, that are capable, um, I'll put a video in here of actually me and my mom taking this, uh, the bed rack off. Uh, with two people, you can easily slide it off the back and lower it onto the ground, even if you've got a tent on there. So um, we're going to get into talking about, like I said, the spacing. So that's kind of the only thing that I'm not 100% sold on this bed rack because of. Now looking back, I think I might have moved more in the direction of buying a Lightner Designs rack, but I'll tell you why I didn't. The main reason that I bought this rack over any other rack on the market is because this is a 12 inch rack. And if you can see, there's a, less than a quarter of the tent that sticks above the draft of the cap. So my gas mileage hasn't gone down. I get, without the bed rack, I get about 22 miles to the gallon in this truck. I know that's really crazy, that's highway. I get about 21, 20 on average with this on there. Usually people will lose five to seven miles to the gallon when they put one of these tents on top of their Jeep or their SUV or hell on top of their, uh, the cab of their truck. I've seen it done. The guy Wasatch Raptor does it, but I don't really think he's too worried about, <laughs> about gas mileage. But anyways, the Lightner Designs and almost every other bed rack is a full height bed rack. So it looks like kind of a, a camper shell, the high, how high it is, and then your tent would be up here. And that would kill your gas mileage. Now, if you're wanting more access to your bed, then maybe that becomes more attractive to you. But as far as this goes, I have, you know, I've slept in the bed of my truck um, on a air mattress with this. I've 
been able to get in there plenty fine. I use my truck as a truck quite often. I use it as a work truck quite often as well. So. I, I can still do everything that I need to while doubling as kind of an overland rig. But I do wish that this was the size of my bed. I contacted them like I said I would in my last video. I contacted them and they said, no, we don't make struts long enough because we do that on purpose because they design it so that you can slide this all the way to the end of the bed. And then here you can put a... Um, like a work box so that you can have a lock box there which isn't a terrible idea i think that that would just look really weird having like two feet of space between the tent and the cab um i haven't done that probably not going to do that i've thought about it though because it's there i might as well but um you know and then i would have a service to walk over to to open my tent up but i i just don't think i would like the look of that so that being said um that is my only complaint about this bed rack, the fact that there is so much unused space. Because if you look at other racks, you can fit, you know, six or seven roto packs across the side, or you can fit uh, your max tracks on one side and still have a roto packs here on the side, especially with a um, with a large bed like this. Now, that being said, I do have a larger bed truck and they make it in different models for an eight foot bed a six foot bed and a five or a six foot five and then a five foot five bed like the f-150s come in but this is their size that they gave me for that and they don't make bigger struts this is the same size strut that you would get if you have an eight foot bed so if you're interested in the rci bed rack know that if you're looking for full coverage on your bed like i was you might want to move in a different direction but if you're also looking for a 12 inch rack where it's not above your cab too much then this is probably your only um, option on the market there might be new stuff i haven't really been in the market too much since uh, i purchased this i have looked into buying a lightener but i just haven't been sold on the fact that my tent's going to be so high and i'm just going to lose gas mileage so that's that guys and then I'm going to make a separate video on this, but if you're interested on how I mounted my, my high lift jack, I used a piece of angle iron from the fencing department in uh, Home Depot. Go there. Actually, I think this was from Lowe's. I powered. Powder coated it black and then I just lifted my bed rack or my bad. I lifted my tent just enough for the bolt to come out and I use the same bolt that my tent is mounted on and I just had put the uh, this angle iron that already had pre-drilled holes in it underneath there and so my tent is actually pinching this down and then you can see this angle iron comes off right there and then I've got the lock rack and it doesn't move at all um, and then I've got the lock rack for the high lift jack this guy mounted to the piece of angle iron and so since um i'm buying roto packs to cover on this side and these the axe will be going on top of the max tracks um i needed more space because i originally had this guy over here and then i had the max tracks over there and then i was pretty much full on space so i needed more space this is just there kind of for looks right now but um you know overlanding is all about looks so I wanted to put my my lock rack there, there on the back, and to me it looks really good. Um, I am gonna get an extended one of these in the future and then have the high lift jack come upwards. You know, you can see the angle iron comes down. I'm gonna flip it around so it's kind of like this, but if I did that with this short piece of angle iron, it would be sitting parallel to the tent and it would be very hard to get the Velcro for the rooftop tent off. So that's the reason I did what I did. And um, moving on to this side, I've just kind of got a miscellaneous bike rack lock over here, just because whenever I put stuff in my in the bed of my truck, I always want to lock it. Um, and then Max Track, since they're expensive, I've just got a gun lock rack on there, or uh, gun lock bolted to the, the rack. Um, 
there you go. The The way that you put this together, they, it is shipped in individual parts. Uh, I'm really sorry that I don't have the video. So I dropped the bed here, or my bad, the tailgate, and in here I've got my camp chef and then my two storage bins. This is my camping storage bin and that's my uh, truck storage bin, which I'll be doing a separate video on later. Um, and even with the high lift jack being in its current orientation, um, you can see how much access I still have to my bed. Uh, it's still very accessible. So, um, and granted, this is where you would have space wise if you didn't have my high lift jack like it's currently configured, as well as my backup lights, which are not plugged in. Merka! And if you're looking to mount a rooftop tent to this bed rack, uh, let me show you how I did it. Now, Smitty Built, for example, works off of a runner rail configuration. Let me climb in here. They run off of these runners like most rooftop tents, but you can see I've got it mounted here, here, and down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. Um, there you go. You can see it right there. Now, I have not had any problems with this tent shifting. I've checked and it hasn't shifted at all. It's just got, got that clamp and you screw it in. I haven't cut these off with a hacksaw yet. Uh, they're honestly just not a big annoyance to me. And that being said, you could if it was a problem for you, but it's not a problem for me. Now, RCI does sell um, an extra one of these, I think for an extra 50 bucks as well. And then you can have this center, well, instead of having the center rail, you can have the rail here. You can see in the trough, I, can, I don't know if I can show it to you. You can see right there where I have this, this light mounted. There's a, a rail, oh, here you go, guys, right there. And you can run that there, and you can run another one over here instead of just having one. And they say that it, it gives you more weight capacity on the bed rack because this is an already extremely light bed rack, only weighing 80 pounds and being able to hold like 450 pounds while off-roading. They say that you can add more weight to the whole system if you do that. But that's not really a massive concern of mine because I don't have people in my tent while I'm off-roading. <laughs> so um, that's how you mount it. Uh, they've got slits there, there, and down the center, just like this. But on all the other three, you've got about a five inch rail, just like one of these, but just smaller. I'm super sorry I don't have the video. I lo that's why I haven't been posting videos in the last like eight months is because the computer that I had all of my stuff on got stolen and I lost all of my original videos on my truck, my welcome to my truck, my last videos of my Jeep before I took it to North Carolina. Um, I lost so much stuff and I lost my video of putting together this rack and putting together the tent and all that. But uh, that's why I'm trying to get back. But the way that you put this together is really simple. You've just got six of these bolts um, they give you a torque spec. They give you really good instructions. You, I put it together by myself in a, like 45 minutes and by myself put it on my bed. It's very easy to do. Uh, just these six on each one of the vertical posts. And then you have, um, if you just have the one runner that it comes with, you get one bolt for each one of the cross struts, one in the middle, one on front and back. And then there you go. They also give you an extra if you buy the extra strut. And then as well, they give you the C clamps. If you purchase those, you have to put those together. It's literally just a bolt through one part of the C into the other part of the C and you're good to go. Uh, but guys, that's pretty much my, the, my video on the RCI bed rack. Um, super awesome rack. The newer model of the rack like this one is you've got these very nice, you've got five of your slits here that you can mount max tracks, roto packs, antennas, anything you want. I really suggest these quick fit, fits, my bad, quick fist. Um, guys, they have a smaller one than this if you're looking to put like a shovel 
something that's really small. You've got this size, and then they've got this one, and they've got a bigger one. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trying to mount a propane tank on this because it does move around a lot, but lighter things, um, they, these can hold up to 50 pounds and these can hold up to 25 pounds and they use a single, this one uses a single number 10 uh, bolt and then these use three number 10 bolts. I would suggest using washers whenever you mount anything to the back of this bed rack because uh, the, the holes are usually just the perfect size for the bolt to slip out if you put it at the right angle. Um, so you've got this, this like one foot slit here and then five of these little holes and then you've got the same thing over here well you've got two on this side and two on this side and then you've got the rci logo and that's the same vice versa on the other side um so i definitely give this a solid eight and a half out of ten if i was to rate the bed rack the only thing that i don't like is that it doesn't cover my bed but if you have a five and a half foot bed raptor or a normal f-150 it's going to fit your bed perfectly if you have a tacoma uh, I don't know about Tundras because they I don't know what sized beds Tundras have but I know that if you have a regular size cab on any truck that they make this for it looks very clean um, so I would give this a very good review I definitely suggest it it's very good powder coating they do like a two-stage powder coating I am looking at getting their their under armor for the my truck as the rocker rails as well uh, I think RCI is a great brand. They've done really good by me, um, and they have really good customer support as well. They're located in Colorado, and if you purchase from them and you live in Colorado or Utah like I do, you can go pick it up, and then you don't have to pay for shipping. I believe I pay like $7.50 out the door for all of this, um, or for the bed rack. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, if you want to sponsor me, though, give me a call. But uh, thanks guys for watching. This is my review on the RCI Metalworks off-road uh, F-150 bed rack. So stay tuned guys, I'm out.